all right so in this video we are going to discuss how we can uh, set the hdri maps from uh, cosmos browser and how we can uh, you know change the settings the exposure values and other different parameters all right so in the cosmos browser if you have downloaded different assets you can go under the download section and here you have uh, here you will see all the downloaded assets and when i just hover over my mouse on any of them you can see on the right top corner of uh, the asset there is an import button right here so let's say uh, we're going to use this HDRI map and click on the import. Okay, so after importing the HDRI map, if you go and look at into the material editor, you will see nothing here. Okay, so this is because uh, the Cosmos browser directly import the HDRI maps to the environment channel environment slot and the environment slot will be right in the render setup f10 and go under the scene tab and you will see that we have a, a corona bit map in the single map slot okay so right now the hdri map is assigned and if i start render so now you can see everything is overexposed and now we have to tweak few settings. So let's open up the material editor. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click and drag and drop this bitmap on this copy. The uh, instance will uh, allow us to change the settings here and it will automatically update in the environment slot. So let's go with the instance and here you can see that we have our HDRI map here. and on the right side we get all the properties and the location where it is stored and on here we have the output channel. So the first thing is the HDRI maps will be imported as a bitmap. So the, all the settings you want for a bitmap, like the offset, the tiling, this or all, all, all the all options are also included with the HDRI. If you, you want to change the exposure settings, you can go under the output section, but but this is a very tedious work so let's go with something procedural something more easy and convenient way to and more organized way to you know set up our environment so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click on the output side of the corona bitmap and if i let go the mouse you will see i can add few maps materials and whatever i have so let's go under the maps section and from here let's go to the corona and here i am going to select the color corona color correct right now uh, after doing this you have to update the environment slot because in the environment slot it's still corona bitmap so click and drag and drop here and go with the instance and now you can see we have the corona color correct let's tweak some values and if i just double click on it uh, i can see the settings or the properties for this color correction map over here in the settings you can see that there there is an input section which says your hdri map is plugged in to the slot and under that we have srgb low dynamic range and right after that we have brightness so if i reduce the brightness 
I cannot go beyond this minus one. All right. And if I increase the brightness, I cannot go beyond plus one. So this is basically to control the RGB values of the map. And this will not, you know, control the overall exposure. So exposure is different and the exposure settings is right under this RGB low dynamic range settings. So here you can see linear HDRI adjustments and we have this exposure settings. So now if I say, let's say if I just write minus two and hit enter, you will see that the overall exposure is now getting better. And we can go beyond the minus one. So here the limit is uh, minus 20. See, so we have a whole range of uh, setting the exposure in, in this linear HDRI adjustments. So let's just go back to my uh, zero and uh, enter minus five. So now you can see I have a whole better scene in by just tweaking this exposure value in the color correction map. All right. So now the other thing is that here you can see in the render, you can see our shadows are on this left side. So it means that the sun is coming from the right direction and shadows are forming on the left side. So if I want to change the direction of the shadows in the color correction slot, I got nothing for the rotation of the map. So for that, you have to go back to the Corona bitmap, double click on it, and it will give you the settings for the Corona bitmap on the right side. And here you will see that we have a settings for the offset and you will see there are two values, the U and V. The U basically represents the X and V represents the Y. So let's say if I want to, you know, change the offset in the horizontal direction or in the X direction, I can just tweak this value. So let's say if I enter point so with this, you can see that uh, our HDRI map got updated and the shadows are now moved from left to right. Okay, but you know, if you don't want to uh, use this kind of setting, like uh, you are not getting uh, what exactly uh, or what angle you want to set for the bitmap, uh, if you are not comfortable with using from 0 to 1, you can go under the environment mapping. And here, uh, next to the mode, we have a rotation degree uh, slot where you can just dial in the angle in degrees. Like if I go for the 45, you can see the value got updated. It's basically uh, linked with each other. Uh, so you can see if I hit just tweak 45 here yeah, my u value got updated uh, from 0 to uh, 0.1 to 5 so if i let's say enter 90 to 0.25 and if i let's enter 180 degrees you can see it's 0.5 it's the same so if you want to control the rotation of the bitmap from here you can go you can just use from 0 to 1 range and for if you want to add the degrees uh, if you are comfortable with the uh, dialing in the degrees uh, value so you can use the environment mapping rotation slot